What's up guys, welcome back to Waterfall Farm. If you're new here, my name is Mike. And this is uh, something I bought recently. It's, I bought, I've had this about six months. You've probably seen it in, in the background of some things. But anyway, to get to the point, this is a 14 foot tractor tipping trailer. Um, I just got it so I can, you know, pull up the tractor. I can fill it up before I have to go down and, and dump it wherever, to dump in the bucket, you know, two or three times a day. I can just tip it all in here and take it down whenever I need to. Um, so yeah, that's great. Um, what does this thing need? Well, the bed is in pretty good condition with the exception of the front little strip here. There's, it's completely gone. I don't know if the angle is right, but you can actually see it hanging down there. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. So, need to put a nice little new strip in the, in the bed there, which is fine. It's fine. It's very easy to do. The other thing is, I was using this when I had a contractor up the other day and I managed to rip the hose off the trailer and of course it wouldn't come out of the tractor because you know that'd be too easy you know, that's designed to happen. No, I ripped it out of there. So we're going to try to weld this back on. That's going to be interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to, but you know, you never know if I'll try. So we're going to try to do that now and uh, uh, yeah, let's just hop right into that and try to fix that um, what could possibly go wrong. Right, so as we can see here, one second, we have our hose here. Ah. Right. This guy is meant to be in here. I managed to rip him out. Of course, you know, professional. I'm a professional doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it first here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna figure out what way that goes back in and try to weld him back so that uh, I can get him going again. This is it's gonna be interesting, right? So, you know, hopefully they just pop together. Hopefully they'll be flat enough to sit together and then I can just put a nice heavy weld around them. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's just uh, flatten this out now. Right, so we have our weld done here. Pretty good, in fairness. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's not the prettiest weld in the world, but it should do the job. Right, we're gonna get our hose, we're gonna hook it back up here, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, boo boo.
Try a big moment, I guess. Let's see. Aha! That's looking pretty good. Right, so this is the floor of our trailer here. It's pretty good. Uh, it's not the cleanest, but it is pretty good. And then we have this section here. You can see right where the first cross beam is, it's just completely gone here. So what I think we're gonna do, well, we're gonna be knocking all this out anyway. That's so we're just gonna cut it nice and evenly along here. And I think I'm gonna do this side as well, because as I recall, yeah, it's kind of soft on this side as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut out a template. We're gonna go straight across here. And because it's first, the first step, I'm actually gonna overlap the old also because, you know, I want to cover this a little bit. So we're going we're gonna to put it down there. I'm probably going to use some uh, some kind of screw or something to put it here because that is wood. And then we'll, uh, we'll either weld or however we're going to do this. I'm going to have to clean this and see uh, how good this is. This might need a whole new floor, um, but I don't want to do that just yet. I, I, I don't think it's that bad. This front bit is very bad. It's very thin, but I'm hoping back here will be a bit better. So that's what we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this quick sweep to knock all dirt loose and then we're going to pull it out, tip it up, and uh, work from there. I also need to take down the sides. All the sides can, can fold down and come off. And then the two corners are just slid down in a slot there. As seen on TV. So that's always a nice thing. You can always just take those right off. So. Let's go. And uh, put very thick steel in. Yeah. I am halfway thinking of just replacing this whole thing, but damn, the, the cost of metal these days is just through the roof. Or uh, through the floor, quite literally. No, I think we're going to do our strip for today. We can always do the rest of it some other time. It's just a matter of just pulling it out from under it and redoing it. Last guy did it, it kind of skimped. He's leaving. Because they were either they either cut it too small or he just decided to weld it, but uh, I don't like a gap like that. Not even for the fact that you're going to lose stuff, because obviously that's not, that's not really a concern with this. It's just the fact that it's not structurally as strong as it could be. I don't know, maybe that's the way she came from factory, I don't know. She used to have some kind of, uh, engine or anyway. Not a long time, though, that's, that's been gone a while. Right, let's, uh, let's get cracking. Right, you're gonna think this is staged, but, um, <laughs> I just got the sheet of metal. And this is, uh, this is not actually the one I was planning on using. The one I was planning on using is a brand new one here. Which uh, is, is fine. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful piece of metal. Same thickness, same everything. This is just leftover scrap I had. Turns out that with the exception of the length, his length, which is effectively the width, he's actually almost ideal for it. 
is actually a little bit too um, too wide this way. Um, his width this way is actually just a little bit over over here, but that's going to be fine. Um, and he is a little bit um, he's a little bit longer than the width of the trailer, so we're gonna have to cut him there. But other than that, he's perfect. So that just saved me uh, however many hundreds of euros that that uh, sheet metal is. Ah, who knows? Maybe we'll do more of the floor sometime with that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead with this one instead. It's it's like perfect for the job. So we're just gonna cut this out. I'm gonna cut down the middle of the beam so I have enough of this overlapping on onto the to the support beam that we don't have to worry about that. And I am going to. It was the old one was screwed in, so we're gonna we're gonna repeat that process. Let's uh let's go ahead and cut out the old shit and uh, get in. Yeah, this is. This, this is just pathetic. <laughs> Let's cut this old shit out and get some new stuff in. We're looking good. We're just gonna cut him across here just now. And we need to take the nails out of this board. Take this old piece of base plate off and throw him back in. Did you say hi? Yeah, right, Jack. You say hi. Oh, Archie. Hey. Right, let's get cracking. Right, well we've made some nice progress. We have our sheet down. It's screwed in the back to the wood. They're pretty flush. I'm not sure with that. They're fine. They're, so, they're, so we have it screwed in to the wood and we have it welded along the front here. I'm probably just going to put one or two more welds in the side. Not that it even really, probably doesn't even need it, but I'll just do that for the sake of it while I have the welder out. Um, the only other thing I want to do today is I have both the sides taken off. Uh, I have some leftover Ford paint 
uh, I think. Hopefully it hasn't gone hard. It's been a while since I've used it. But uh, if it's any good, I want to, uh, to just paint the sides here. We're going to do, I don't know if we'll get to uh, this front panel today, but we're definitely going to do the sides if that paint's any good. And I'll give this a power hose sometime because this is a lot filthier and there's cobwebs in every form of critter. So we're just going give, to give the two sides a quick paint while they're off, while she's inside. Um, flip this, this guy over here. Oh, I mean, they're not bad, but it'll look a lot nicer and it'll help, help save the wood. Ah. Yeah, it'll help save the wood if they're painted. So give them a dusting off, give them a bit of a clean. We'll give them a bit of a, give her a bit of paint and uh, she'll be looking a lot nicer. Uh, besides that, we're pretty much done. Uh, put the put the sides back on and the back, and we're pretty much done. Oh, I must still yes now. Good, I think I talked it over. I'm I'm rebuilding this thing because it's not long enough. Uh, so what happened before was my cable was here and it was my hose was here and I was going through that little square and it was going into the back of the tractor simulated here here somewhere and what happened was and i think it was down this side too it was just down that little bit before it went into the to it and if i just turn it like that so it was something like that and i was turning and the wheel just comes right in here that this is where the wheel will go if you lock hard enough and uh yep yeah, it managed just to pull this straight off it ripped it straight off so i don't want to repeat it that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a piece of pipe cut this off come out of my way now please and i'm going to attach it from about here to here to keep the hose in line the hose will go straight will go straight in straight down the top of this and down in here and it'll go all the way out to here before it comes up if there's any slack in the line we'll uh We'll figure that out. I might even just uh, turn this sideways and have the hose kind of come back around or something like that, just to keep it taut. I don't want uh, too much slack. If you don't, if you have too little slack, when you turn, it'll pull on it. But if you have too much, we might get a repeat. So I have a piece of pipe. We'll put a nice angle in the cut here, and we'll just weld this on here, and we'll cut. We'll cut this this off but uh, yeah let's go see if that paint is any good and if it is we'll do it today if it isn't we'll get it next time next video but uh but yeah if you're new here just got that recently just put a video up lately uh pretty interesting go have a watch but uh yep yeah, let's get some paint and um let's see if we can spruce this whole thing up a bit So we have our pipe put in. That's not going anywhere. Stop. Hopefully, stop us from uh, making any stupid decisions or stupid, <laughs> stupid, um, anything stupid in the future. We have our floor put in. I have one of the side doors painted. Uh, didn't have enough paint to do the next one. I only get about a quarter of the way through, so I just stopped when I did. So he's looking very nice. We'll get him on and get him uh, get him put back up in the next couple days. 
this guy is up for next for painting and then uh, after I power hose uh, this and this front bit get a bit more paint we'll paint the two of them make it look a lot nicer and then I suppose as far as this trailer is concerned it's on to I mean eventually she's gonna need new tires they're pretty knackered as it is there's not too much left on them and I think one of them has a bad bulge which could pop any time. Yeah, that doesn't look so great in there, does it? Yeah, and there's a lot of dry rot as well. So, it's all part of it. It's a lot cleaner than it used to be. I might just put super singles on this um, instead of replacing the two, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway, thanks so much guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you all next time. Bye.